Welcome everybody, another edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. I'm your host, Mike Vaccaro. Well, we'll talk about the rivalry East Carolina this week. We'll have those highlights coming up shortly. We'll also look ahead to a day in the life of this man, Takeo Siddle. It's not all what you might think. And we'll also have a, a look ahead to St. Andrews coming up and then Ole Miss as well. But coach, it was East Carolina Monday night in Greenville. That rivalry renewed, as you said, important to have that on the schedule. As you prepared, though, you knew this was going to be a challenge and probably the, the best team so far of the four games in your, your early slate. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a challenge, Mike. We, um, you know, we got off to a slow start. I thought we were sleepwalking in the first half, and then second half we came out and played our type of basketball, and uh, we ended up coming up short at the end. Yeah, what was that discussion like at halftime? Because certainly it was a big turnaround to start the second half. You outscored them 30-6. to six to open up the second frame? Yeah, my main message was we need to start playing our, our brand of basketball. Uh, we needed to get tougher. Uh, we needed to fight a little bit harder. And uh, I thought we got a little selfish in the first half and we needed to play more as a team. And we came out in the second half and we did that. And then I thought at the latter part of the uh, second half, we started getting selfish again. I thought we got disconnected. And I thought it, it bit us at the end of the game. I thought, though, second half, you did a good job against Jaden Garter, their big guy in the, the middle. Uh, what was the difference? What adjustments did you make on him? Because he really struggled to get the ball later stages of that second half. Yeah, I thought the foul trouble he got in early kind of broke his rhythm a little bit and, you know, had him out of, out of whack a little bit. And then uh, as the game went on, uh, he started catching the ball off the block, away from the basket a little bit more, and it made it harder for us to front like we were trying to and to get into our three-quarter wrap. Um, and he started to catch the ball and face up and do a little bit more, you know, off the face up position and he was making his jump shots. Going into this game, you find out Joe Prigian now is available. He gets the waiver. He started in that game. And then also Jamari Harvey, I thought the freshman had a good game. So your guards, there's some positives coming away from that game, I think. Definitely some positives. I thought Joe did a really good job offensively. Uh, we got to clean his defense up. Uh, and I thought Jamari played well. I thought he did some really good things. He hadn't scored the ball well up to this point, but he's a big-time scorer and he's going to be a big-time player for us in the future. I thought he did some really good things. Well, again, it was uh, Monday night in Minji's Coliseum. UNCW on the road to take on East Carolina. Let's take a look at our Harris Teeter highlights. Well, you see the final score there in overtime, 88-78. to The Seahawks uh, come up short trying to get that win on the road against a rival East Carolina. 28 points from Jalen Sims leads the way for UNCW. Guard 
heavy with the points. 14 for Harvey, 11 for Pridgen, 12 for Okaru. Coach, I thought John Bowen, though, six points, eight rebounds, six block shots. He kind of gave you a big lift, played the majority of the second half. and gave you some size against some of their bigger players as well. Yeah, John did a terrific job. Um, I actually just got done talking to those guys about buying into your role and doing your role to the best of your ability. And I thought he did a really, really good job of that. And I think he's starting to buy in a little bit more to his role. I need more guys to start doing that. Uh, but he played with so much toughness and so much energy. And uh, that's exactly what we need from that position. Well, certainly not the win that you wanted, but it seemed like some learning lessons for this team as you continue to, to mold them only four games into the season. Yeah, if we can, if we can learn from this, um, I think we'll be fine moving forward. Uh, and that was, that was one of my messages to him in film session. If we can learn from it, I'm okay with taking the loss. Uh, we got to correct some of the things that, that we struggled with uh, and that we didn't do so well uh, later on in that game. But um, if we can learn from it, I'll be, uh, we'll look back on this and be happy about this. Well, 500 right now for the Seahawks, 2-2 two and two heading into their home matchup with St. Andrews. We'll take a break here when we get back. A day in a life at Takeo Siddle. That's coming up next. Stay with us. Time to start it up, America. You've got a lot of joy to make. And we're kicking off the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event because you've got turkeys to fry and thanks to give. To help you do it right, we're giving you 90 days payment deferment and 1,000 trade assist cash off the Built Ford Tough F-150 and Ford Ranger. That's on top of what your eligible trade is worth. That'll make a lot of joy this season. Now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings, including 1,000 trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Right now is the perfect time to buy gifts for your family and friends with gift cards from Harris Teeter. Because when you do, you earn two times the fuel points. Buy $200 in gift cards and get 400 fuel points. You save 40 cents per gallon. Buy $500 in gift cards and get 1,000 fuel points. That's a dollar off per gallon. This Christmas, buy your gift cards at Harris Teeter and save big at the pump. coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Welcome back, everybody. This week's edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Well, you see him on the sidelines. You see him here in these shows, but uh, there's more to a day in the life of this man. Uh, what are you learning about what a day in the life of a head coach is like right now? Well, uh, it's never the same. You know, things come up and you have to deal with it as soon as it comes up. Um, no day is the same for me. Uh, it's a lot of nights where I don't sleep. Um, it's a lot of things that you have to think through. Uh, throughout the day, uh, but it's been fun. Um, it's been challenging and I'm excited. I'm excited about it. And certainly in a year like this, nothing is normal as well. Right, nothing's normal. Like I said before, um, you know, you have to deal with different situations as they come up. And uh, we're just taking it day by day. Um, you know, when situations come up, we just figure it out uh, the best way we know how and then we keep it moving. Well, let's learn more now about a day in the life of uh, what it is to be a head coach here at UNCW.
now it's time to go to COVID test. My, uh, what's my schedule for, for next week? It is, let's pull it up and look. Okay. So I'm free on Wednesday? Yes, you're free on Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Alright. Uh, can you text the staff and let them know we're going to uh, be at 1.30 for practice? I'll do it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hopefully things are going well uh, with you, your families, and on your campus. I know it still remains a, a fairly trying time for all of us. So uh, just know that our, our thoughts are with you as we all try to navigate uh, this together. It's certainly uh, not going to be simple. The inbound is springing to the middle and then peeling back to center balls, trapping it, and then we got to get the interceptors coming. And then the other thing is, like he was trying to do too much. So what we have, we have. Four or five turnovers. They scored eight points off of them. Um, we missed we miss free throws. This line is the point guard line. The guard line. Don't get the ball. Oh, right. Opposite side. Opposite side. Mm -hmm. So that's the long. So your man is trailing. You got to get up here. You got to pick you up. Okay. You ran to Ty's man. And you took two shots. So now he doesn't know what to do. This is your guy. You got to start playing basketball. Okay? Now you have to start reading the offensive players' eyes and stuff the traps. You gotta start anticipating where you're gonna throw it, and then we'll get some more skills on it. Okay? So now you guys know what to do. Let loose and play basketball. Nice cool Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic hip, bay windows, got two, nice tuck pointing hip, retractable awning here, like it, got the nice edging on the grass here, edge the grass nice hip, ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic hip, got a white breasted nut hatch hip. Right now is the perfect time to buy gifts for your family and friends with gift cards from Harris Teeter.
because when you do, you earn two times the fuel points. Buy $200 in gift cards and get 400 fuel points. You save 40 cents per gallon. Buy $500 in gift cards and get 1,000 fuel points. That's a dollar off per gallon. This Christmas, buy your gift cards at Harris Teeter and save big at the pump. Keep your eyes on the Monster Angus Thick Burger. With sizzling bacon and two one-third pound Angus beef patties. The Monster is your daddy now. <laughs> the Monster Angus Thick Burger at Hardee's. Feed your happy. You can't know someone has COVID-19 just by looking at them. But you should know that everyone who wears a mask has a reason to fight it. Whatever your reason, get behind the mask. Well, as we continue on with the show here, a chance to introduce you to Travis Hackard, a guy that is familiar here with UNCW. And Coach, as you put a staff together, one of the first things you did when you were hired, why was it important to have this guy, Travis Hackard, part of this staff and bring him back to UNCW? I think when you're putting together a staff, uh, you want people around you that you trust and that are loyal to you. Um, and, and Travis has been that for me. He's been my right-hand man ever since I met him back in 2014. And, uh, you know, a hardworking guy, a very smart, loyal uh, family man, somebody that I think is going to be a really good mentor for our players. Um, you know, I love Travis to death. He's like a brother to me. And, uh, you know, I had to have him on my staff when I took over the job. When he was here before, he has several different roles, the same thing at NC State. So this is the first time he's an assistant coach. In your mind, what made him ready for kind of an elevated role? Just, you know, his experience and, and the way we do things, um, you know, he was dipping his hand in a lot of different areas. And, you know, the thing for him is he just needed to be in a role where he could be more assertive uh, because he knew what to do. It's just him being more assertive. And I think he's getting really comfortable with his new role right now. And the role of your assistants, you kind of have coordinators, almost like you might see on a football staff, but here it's on the basketball staff, and he's your offensive coordinator. What makes him suited to that role? Yeah, you know, as a video guy, you see pretty much every offense that um, there is. And, you know, when, we were, when I was an assistant, we worked hand in hand, and we used to talk about what we would do if we ever had the opportunity to be on the staff together, and I'm the head coach. And, um, you know, he's seen every offense. Um, so he's very valuable for me in that area and, you know, breaking down film and, and seeing what best suits our uh, roster right now. And as we talked in the past, having coordinators kind of keeps all the assistants involved in game planning for each opponent as well. It does. And he helped. What Travis does is he helps me um, how to attack their defense. And we put together a, a script of plays that we think will be effective against our opponents. And he does a really good job with it. Well, again, here is more on a guy familiar with UNCW back here for a second stint, Travis Hackard, assistant coach with the basketball team. My name is Travis Hackard. I'm an assistant coach here at UNC Wilmington. I've uh, been working with the guards here and looking forward to a great year. I got started into coaching um, as soon as I graduated from college at the University of Louisville. I worked under Rick Pitino there, and um, Coach Keats got the job here at UNCW, and he brought me with him. and. Uh, so I had, was very fortunate to be a part of some great years here at UNCW, a couple championships, and then um, went to NC State with Coach Keats, and now we're back here with Coach Siddle. So um, I, I got into the uh, industry with coaching. Um, I, I always knew I wanted to do it from a young age. Uh, my mom uh, has been coaching for 30 years, so there's never been a year in my life where I haven't been in the gym and practices and games, and so this is something I've always wanted to do when I was young. And, I've been very fortunate to work for some great people and be a part of some great teams. And so, you know, I played growing up and played in high school, but I was, you know, not good enough to play at the next level. So I knew coaching was another way to stay in this game. And, and I just really love the game of basketball. So, you know, as far as coaching, you know, my favorite parts of it is just being part of the player development and being part of guys developing as players and as people. And there's no greater feeling to see a player work on something in practice and continue to work on it and it translates to the game and you know just to be a part of that is something that that really keeps me going with coaching and I just love the competition of, of basketball and the games and there's no better feeling being a part of something that you know you win a championship and that brings you back every single time and in my coaching career my short coaching career I've been a part of a bunch of championships so that's something I strive for every year as I continue my coaching career 
And you know, this team, um, it's a special team. It's been fun, you know, coaching them so far. And they are a group that has really bought into what we're trying to do. And you know, they've been listening to us and been trying to do what we're trying to sell. And um, so, you know, it's been a lot of fun with that. And you know, I credit a lot to that to Coach Siddle. And I've worked for a lot of coaches. I've worked for a lot of successful coaches. And you know, I've always said this, that Coach Siddle has, is one of the best guys I've, I've been around and the most genuine person. And so, you know, when Coach Siddle asked me to come to UNCW, it was, it was a no-brainer for me. Um, and I firmly believe in that. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the success he's going to have here and looking forward to be a part of that. Even though we can't have everyone gathered, we found new ways to make each occasion special. We're keeping your gifting experience both safe and personal through Reads.com, answering all your questions and guiding you to the perfect present, just like we have for over 70 years. Family always finds a way to celebrate life's moments together, no matter what. You won't just shop with confidence at Reads Jewelers and Reads.com. You'll feel like family. to start it up America you've got a lot of joy to make and we're kicking off the Ford built for the holidays sales event because you've got turkeys to fry and thanks to give to help you do it right we're giving you 90 days payment deferment and 1,000 trade assist cash off the built Ford Tough F-150 and Ford Ranger that's on top of what your eligible trade is worth that'll make a lot of joy this season now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings including a thousand trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in only at your Carolina Ford dealer Along the coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Welcome back, and as we bring you back, time for the Logan Holmes Play of the Week. We go back to the game against East Carolina. A little defense here leading to our Play of the Week. Once again, the Logan Holmes play of the week, part of nine steals for the Seahawks, and that certainly helped them uh, get a big lead in that second half. Brian Tolfrey showing uh, he's got some ability to dunk as well on the break, our Logan Holmes play of the week. That brings us now to our Carolina Ford Dealers player of the week, and you know, typically maybe not eye-popping numbers, but with the one game, John Bowen, you look at what he did, Coach, six points, a career-high eight rebounds, six block shots that tied a single-game record here at UNCW, and you know, he, he's a guy who started the first game, didn't play the second game, but it seemed like certainly yesterday or against East Carolina, he was ready when his number was called. He was, and John's the ultimate team guy. You know, all he wants to do is win. And, you know, he told me last week, Coach, whatever I can do to help the team, if that's two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes, whatever I can do to help the team, I'm willing to do that. And uh, he's buying into his role on a daily basis, and uh, that's what I need out of an older guy, a senior, and somebody that I can count on to go in and do the right thing, somebody that I trust. This is such a guard-heavy team, but some size that you got from Bowen, I thought that really disrupted Gardner against uh, East Carolina on Monday night. It did. You know, John did a great job of, of pushing him off the block. Um, you know, when he went up to shoot the ball, he did a great job of challenging. Like you mentioned, he had six blocks. Uh, so he was really, really active, and I thought uh, his quickness bothered uh, Gardner a little bit. And uh, he, he had a good night. 
and the key block down the stretch, the end of regulation that helps send the game into overtime as well. So the Carolina Ford Dealers Player of the Week this week, John Bowen. Again, some big numbers, including the school record tying six block shots. Last time was 2016. C.J. Geddes had six block shots in a single game. We'll take our final break here. When we get back, we'll look ahead. Two games coming up this week, St. Andrews and Ole Miss. We'll talk about them coming up next. Okay. She's the one, and you know it. At Reeds.com, we're making it easy to find the perfect ring from home. With helpful advice from our online jewelry experts, safe and discreet shipping, and beautiful ring packaging, you'll be confident the moment will be as perfect for her as she is for you. As a trusted jeweler for over 70 years, Reed's Jewelers will be here to make both of you feel like family. Long after she says yes. Good ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic Hip. Bay windows, got two. Nice tuck pointing hip. Retractable awning here, like it. Got the nice edging on the grass here. Edge the grass nice hip. Ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic Hip. Got a white breasted nut hatch hip. Did you wake up craving a made-from-scratch biscuit topped with tender prime rib and a fried egg? How about now? The new prime rib and fried egg biscuit at Hardee's. Feed your happy. You can't know someone has COVID-19 just by looking at them. But you should know that everyone who wears a mask has a reason to fight it. Whatever your reason, get behind the mask. Well, after a light week last week because of final exams, things pick up a little bit here. We take a look at this week's uh, schedule delivered by Papa John's, and it starts with the home opener for UNCW St. Andrews in town. Coach, you usually get excited from a, a fan's perspective, get ready to have a packed trash coliseum. Unfortunately, that won't be the case this year, but you are at home for the first time. Yeah, we're still excited to be at home. Uh, we haven't had an opportunity to play on our home floor against another opponent, so we're looking forward to it. Looking at St. Andrews, this will be their third game against a Division I opponent. But as we talked before, you know, this type of game, it's, it's kind of about you and seeing what you do and how you can improve. It is. You know, I, I want to use it as, obviously, we want to win the game. Uh, but we have some things we need to work on. And when you play a team like this, they present some problems for you because they're smaller at each position. Uh, they may be a little quicker than you at each position. So uh, it's going to force us to work on our one-on-one -on -one defense. Um, we're going to have to block out because they're going to be quicker than us trying to get to those loose balls. So uh, it'll present some challenges for us. A chance as well to maybe work on some rotations to see what combinations work and don't, especially with Pridgen now playing. This will be his second game of the year. Yeah, we'll try some new lineups out, um, you know, see what, see what we like, see what we don't like. And, uh, you know, moving forward, it'll help us. And then on Saturday, it'll be Ole Miss, 5 o'clock Eastern time, the Seahawks and the Rebels. And, you know, that one from Oxford and uh, hitting the road and going on a plane for the first time. But, uh, you know, obviously an interesting matchup in the SEC. It is. You know, we're looking forward to going out and playing them. Um, but we got to take it one game at a time. Uh, but I think Ole Miss is a well-coached team. They're going to be physical. They're going to be tough. They're going to be uh, a bigger team. Uh, so it'll present some challenges for us as well. And again, that will be on Saturday. So this week's schedule, again, delivered by Papa John's. On Wednesday, it is UNCW hosting St. Andrews that game at 7 o'clock. And then at 5 o'clock on Saturday, we'll have both games on 95.9 The Breeze. Wednesday's game also on Flow Sports. Coach, again, busy week. Starting to pick up now the pace a little bit game-wise. Wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Mike. Again, he's to K.O. Siddle. I'm Mike McCarroll for Jeremy Sullivan and our entire crew. Thanks for joining us here today. We'll see you next week for another edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring to K.O. Siddle.